Hi, my love. This is going to be a reading for you. Um, <clears throat> just basically a reading to give you some insight for your week ahead. Um, now, <laughs> just so you guys know, I'm reading, this is, this is a reading I'm doing for my husband, okay? <laughs> um, so it's, I'm he was like, just treat it as if it was just, you know, a client. And I'm like, but I can't because I'm talking to you, so... <laughs> this reading is for my husband. Um, I'm going to give him some insight on the week ahead. Usually I, I do a little kind of like an energy reading for him, but I wasn't able to, to do that this time around because I, I opted to nap instead. Um, so I was napping while, while I could have been reading for him. Um, so we're going to be using just a couple decks. I'm going to use Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle. I'm gonna use the crow tarot for you because the crow has been your, literally your animal guide throughout this entire journey. Um, you started seeing crows right before you were getting your invitation to the academy. So I'm gonna use the crow tarot for you, okay? Um, I had the window open, that's why it's super bright <laughs> because I wanted to make sure, it's starting to get dark. So I wanted to make sure that you could see the reading. Um, I'm not using any set spread for this. I'm just going to pull cards, just like how I usually do for you, my love. But um, I'm just going to pull cards and just give you some insight on the week ahead. So I'm going to pull first for the energy of the reading, the energy of the reading, the energy, the energy of your week. And then we'll go into kind of like specifics like fears, setbacks, troubles, like, you know, the way I usually do it. And I thought it would be easier for me to just film it so that <laughs> once you're in your dorm, you could play it and listen to it. And um, I don't have to type anything up. Oh, and this is the Halloween Oracle. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'm using that too. One wants to come out. <laughs> I saw that one when I was shuffling. Okay, so the theme of your week, my love, is zombie. You got zombie control. Okay, so that's telling me that this week you are going to need. It's it's a good and a bad thing. I'm seeing it as a good and a bad thing. The good of the control is you have control over this. You got this right. You you have your hand in this. You can do it. But the other thing about the control is sometimes having too much control is not a good thing, okay? And you know what I mean by that because I feel like sometimes you, maybe you like to control the situation when sometimes you have to allow things to organically happen or you have to trust that, um, you know, that God has his hand in this and that you can do it. Um, but that's, that's, that's how I'm seeing control. We have the moon that came up. So this moon energy that we just had, the, the new moon, it was in Virgo. I think the moon is now in Libra, but it was in Virgo as a new moon. Um, and then we're in Virgo season. And Virgo season is so good for getting busy, getting serious about projects. It's a brand new month. It's a fresh new start. It's a brand new week. And so this is the, the, the moon is kind of telling me like, you know, allowing those, the energies of that fresh new start, fresh new week, Virgo energy is very organized, very collected. It's going to be in your favor to be, um, organized this week. And you're a very organized person anyway, but, um, be organized with the things you need to do. Make sure that you're not over, um, exerting yourself to where you are piling up way too many things for yourself to do in a single day. Um, I know that you like to study hard at night, but I feel like with, with that is kind of saying um, control. You have control over how much time you spend for study and then also how much time you allow yourself to sleep. And so I feel like it's another reminder for you to make sure you are giving yourself time to sleep as well as you, I know you want to study, but make sure you're studying for the things that you need to really study for this week and leave all of the other little things um don't worry so much about those, okay? I want you to just kind of focus on studying the stuff that really matters um, and all of those extra codes and whatnot. L save it for another time. Um, we have focus. So you have focus coming up also. So this is a week of needing to really focus. And in order to focus, you need to make sure you're getting sleep, okay? 
um, needing to make sure that you are you know, alert that you're listening, okay? Making sure that you're paying attention, you're listening to all of the little details, all of the explanations, the, the instructions for the tests that you're gonna be taking, and really focus honing in when you're doing the big test, okay? I don't wanna have to, I don't wanna say it like, I'm not gonna give detail because I don't wanna, you know, that's personal for you, but um, when you're doing the, the test, um, you need to make sure you're focused, make sure you are, zoned in um when you're when you're when you're getting ready to do it um don't worry about all the other eyes that may be on you don't worry about what other people might be thinking or saying about you you need to just focus in on yourself and how you're gonna you know tackle that test um then we have invisible and i like that because i feel like this week um i feel like invisible for you is kind of saying you need to kind of take yourself outside of the worries of all the other eyes on you. I feel like when you do the tests, you, you start to worry about, is everybody watching me? Or what is everyone thinking? What is the instructor thinking while I'm doing this? And I feel like that the cards are kind of saying like, you have to kind of put yourself in the zone and, and, and kind of think of yourself as invisible, that no one is seeing you. They're not watching you. No one can see you, that kind of thing. Um, the other thing I'm saying as invisible is maybe it's a tip this week that it's good for you to kind of blend in. You already kind of do that and we've, we've spoken about that before, but this week especially, don't do anything that is going to bring extra attention to you that, that isn't necessary, okay? <laughs> so I feel like that invisible card is coming up for that too. Um, so don't bring any um, unnecessary attention to yourself. So that's the theme of your week, the energy of your week coming up. Let's look at some stuff that you need to focus on and some challenges that you may that some challenges that you may face. So stuff to focus on, challenges to face. So stuff for focusing on. We have the hierophant. I love it. Hierophant energy is all about your teachers, your mentors, okay? Really pay attention to what your instructors are saying. Um, I feel like your instructors sometimes throw breadcrumbs for you guys. They give you guys little tips when you may not be realizing it. Um, it's kind of like they they want you to pass. They're making it as easy for you to pass as possible. Um, but if you're not focused and you're not alert and you're not paying attention, you're going to easily miss those breadcrumbs that they leave for you. So I do feel like the Hierophant energy is that. Um, Hierophant energy also for, for what to focus on this week is... Um, following the rules <laughs> and and strict because hierophant energy is very strict um type of person this is somebody who follows the rules they live by the book okay so for you this week when it comes down to you know how you how you carry yourself and how you answer questions and what you do um you don't want to bring unwanted attention to yourself so just follow the rules even if other people or other guys or whatever are kind of starting to be loose they're acting a little bit more loose maybe you know they're just they're maybe they've already accomplished the big test and you, you still have yours to do so just make sure that you're staying um in the game and you're following the rules the way the instructors want you to do it and not so much following what everybody else is doing okay um, we also have the nine of, what is this? Nine of wands. I think this is nine of wands. <laughs> nine of wands. So what to focus on? Um, picking yourself back up when you are down. Nine of wands energy is um, about you don't give up. And this is, to me, this card would probably be the one card for you. Um, no matter what you do, you have always brought yourself back up. You failed a couple times on some of the tests this th throughout this journey, but you still come back hard. Um, and then even through the process, you have to remind yourself of the past struggles. You have to remind yourself <clears throat> how long it took you to get here. And this is why you need to treasure these moments, even if it doesn't come out the way you want it to. So maybe you don't answer a question the way you, you thought you should have, or maybe you don't pass the test on the first try. That's okay. You still have time. Um, but I want you to focus also on how long and how hard you worked to get to this point because there was a point in your past where you didn't think you would ever get this. So this is literally a blessing in disguise. Um, so enjoy it. Enjoy the experience even though you're stressed and you're just tired and you're over it. 
you got to still enjoy it because remember, remind yourself how hard it was for you to get to this point. And then also Wheel of Fortune. I love it. So um, you've been getting a lot of fives and nines. Here's your five, my love. Here's your nine. And then here's your ten. And the Wheel of Fortune is literally one. It's a good luck card. Okay, so it's a good omen. It's also the card of the wheel is spinning and it's a fucking wheel. What is your test that you're doing this week, right? You know what I mean? So it's, it, to me, this kind of shows that it's gonna be a real positive for you. It's, to me, it's completion, okay? We have the nine and the 10. Those cards, those numbers, I mean, um, are the ending of a cycle. It's, you're, you're getting ready to start a new cycle. Fives are change, okay? So the fact that you were seeing 555 all weekend and then you were seeing 999, um, it's, to me, these are all signs. So I do feel like you, to focus on your past, the struggles, what is pushing you forward, what is motivating you. Focus on remaining strict with yourself, following the rules, even if other people have started to be a little bit more lax. Maybe they passed their test and they don't have anything to worry about, but you still gotta stay in the game strong. You gotta pass that test. Um, and then you can you know, kind of relax a little bit too. Um, and then the wheel of fortune to me is like, the wheel to me represents the test you're taking. And then also the wheel is about, it's gonna start spinning, you're gonna start seeing movement, you're, you're completing something and it's a good luck card too. Okay, my love? Now let's look at your struggles, the challenges. <laughs> so your challenges, we have, um, this is the Six of Wands. So challenges, is, is Six of Wands is a card of co uh, completion. It's a card of success. It's a card of allowing yourself, because okay, you have the crow up here and you have people who are people. Well, you have the other crows that are looking up to him, right? They're giving him praise. They're giving him, you know, yeah, you, you could do this. You're doing good. Six of Wands is a card of success, but it's also a card of um, getting having like the community behind your back. And so I feel like it for you as a challenge, it is hard for you to allow yourself to receive those compliments that you get. When I tell you, congratulations, you're doing amazing, you always respond with, no, not yet. I haven't yet passed that test. Or I haven't, I'm not graduated yet. I haven't done it yet. But you also have to allow yourself to receive those, those congratulations or receive the compliments or receive like those wishes of good things that you're doing amazing because you are. Okay, so I see the six of wands as a struggle for you. It's hard for you to accept success because you feel like for yourself that you have not yet fully achieved it. It's like you, you're telling yourself, I don't deserve it yet because I haven't completed this. I'm not done yet. So I feel like that's a hard thing for you. It's hard for you to, to see success or to, to take those little bits of compliments um, because you feel like you don't deserve it just yet. So that's one challenge for you. But it's like all those little accomplishments, that's your six of wands those small accomplishments you pass maybe it's you pass the writing exam this week or you um you get your wednesday um given to so you can leave you know leave campus um whatever all of those little things be proud of it and allow yourself to receive that congratulate i don't even know what the word how to say it but to receive the congratulations like receive it and allow yourself to feel good about yourself for it okay Another challenge, my cards are upside down. <laughs> Another challenge is the lovers. So this one is the you and me, my love. Um, so the lovers is probably when it's hard. It, maybe you, you find it tough because you're not in your comfort place, which is home. You know, you get, maybe you do get a little bit homesick and maybe you feel a little bit more frustrated because rather than coming back into your dorm and being with the roommate, you would rather be coming home and spending time, you know, with me and the cats and whatnot. So I see the lovers as a challenge. I also see this for me. It's speaking to me that I need to be super, super supportive this week. Um, and it's also kind of putting me in check too, to make sure that my emotions and stuff is positive for you because this will be a very stressful week for you. So I do see the lovers card as that. Um, but also lovers is about choices. So it's not just about like relationships and your, and the companionship lovers is also about choice. And so maybe you're going to have a choice to, to make, or like a, a decision, a choice to make between two 
two pathways or between two ways of how to do a test or something might come up where you might see some um, some difficulty, some challenge with choice. Um, so if you do see something like that pop up, I would say it's always best to follow your heart, to follow your intuition versus what your ego is saying, okay? And then lastly, we have the Four of Swords. <laughs> <laughs> so the four of swords is a card of the need for okay so <laughs> this card it shows the poor little crow is dead right but to me the four of swords is about relaxation giving yourself quiet time slowing down okay resting and what was i saying in the beginning of your reading that you need to sometimes you have control over how much time you spend for studying and then how much time you give yourself to sleep at night so i feel like this week you're going to be super stressed because of the tests and stuff, you really need to give yourself time to recuperate. So a challenge this week I see is, is giving yourself time to sleep when you wanna study. And I know that sometimes it's like you would rather study, but sometimes you're not even obtaining the information that you're studying because you're falling asleep while you're studying, you know what I mean? So I feel like that Four of Swords is a reminder to make sure you get your rest, it's important for you, okay? Um. I think that was pretty damn good reading. <laughs> I think I read better for you when you're not sitting in front of me because you make me nervous. <laughs> so I felt like that went really well. Let's pull some cards. Um, just as some additional advice for you. Let's do some um, cards for additional advice for you regarding the test, the big test. We have hearth, happiness in our hearts and homes. Happiness in our hearts and homes. Happiness in our hearts. So I feel like one thing of advice that you're getting for that is when it comes to the test, you got to remain optimistic, bubs. You got to be positive, okay? We are sometimes so tempted to be negative and to, to think and focus in on our weaknesses and the negatives about a situation. But you also have to allow yourself to be cozy, to be open to positivity, to positive feedback, okay? When people are telling you you're doing great, allow yourself to receive those words, those compliments, okay? But also I feel like being you need to change your attitude more to be more um, positive. We have eternal love. Love is love is love and it transcends physical death. So I feel like that's just kind of saying like literally like what I was telling you earlier, no matter what happens, I will always love you. No matter what happens, I will always be there for you. Okay. So it's just kind of like you fail the test the first time. It doesn't make me upset. It doesn't make me angry at you or hate you. It's just, I will always love you. And I feel like that card is coming as a reminder. So it's kind of funny that that one came up. <laughs> That one came up because I know I've told you that many times um, just to reassure you um, because you are very hard on yourself. So I think that that came up too. It's like eternal love. No matter what happens in this whole experience, our love is going to be what is strong always. And then lastly, we have ancestors, the love and legacy of our DNA. I feel like the ancestor card coming up for you regarding the test is kind of saying that this was in your past life. This was meant for you. It was its fate that it was designed for you, that you were supposed to do this with your life. Um, it's built in your DNA. I feel like that's like what it's saying is like it's saying it is it is in your DNA to do this. This is destined for you, okay? Let me pull one more card. I also see like all three of these cards together it's real emotional, like emotions. And so I feel like for you, when it comes to this test, you got to be positive with your heart. You've got to be positive with yourself and be soft with yourself. Take away so much of that um, worry and stress and the need for control of perfection. There is no perfection. There's nothing as a perfect test. And just, I feel like that, that DNA card is kind of saying like it's, it's in you, it's in your blood. It, you were meant to do this. You're going to pass. Okay. 
And then we have, oh yes, we have the warrior. I love it. So you are strong, okay? You are a warrior. You're gonna fight through. You're gonna get through this. You're tough. Bring out the toughness within you when you're doing this test. And I think I gave you that advice too earlier this weekend where I, so, where I said, it's time for you to kick ass. It's time for you to not worry about what other people are thinking or saying. It's time for you to not be there for everyone else. It's time for you to show up for yourself. And so I feel like that's what that warrior card is, what that warrior card is saying. And just because, let me pull one more. Individuality. So I think the individuality is kind of saying like, be yourself, okay? Be yourself. Allow your inner warrior to come out, but be yourself because that's the only version of yourself that's gonna get you through this test. Don't worry about trying to be like other people or trying to, to, trying to drive and do things like other people. You gotta do it your way. Be yourself because it's ingrained in you. It's in your blood to do this, okay? Okay, my love, so this concludes your reading. I hope that you enjoyed it and it was so much easier for me to do the reading without you sitting in front of me. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you liked watching the video. Let me know what you think um, if you have any questions. And if you guys are watching this, um, my Halloween-y fall theme readings are now live. So if you wanna book one with me, you can. Please click the link in the description box, check out my website, and you could book your readings. They will be done with the um, spooky Halloweeny dark theme decks that I have, and I can't wait to read for you. Talk to you guys later. Bye, loves.